Hey guys and welcome back to another new Animal Crossing New Horizons Island tour. We are here in Twin Leaf, an island made by Tian Can't Relate on Twitter. And this is an island that is inspired by the Bangkok outskirts. So I'm really excited about this one. I've seen some pictures and as you guys can already tell by the flyover, it just looks so incredibly cool. I'm really excited to check this one out. As usual, if you guys want to submit your islands to me, you can do so via Twitter and Instagram. Send me a message. It's at Crossing Channel. All of the links are in my video description. So if you guys want me to take a look at your island, send along some pictures and I will definitely consider it. I've checked out so many different islands already and I'm really excited to check out this one. So obviously Twin Leaf <laughs> is a Pokemon reference, which is pretty cool. Uh, I definitely am a big fan of that. Oh my god, he's got presents to me. He's got presents. I can't believe this, guys. I I'm very happy. <laughs> I love a present. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate that a lot. Alright, so I'm definitely ready to... Um... Oh, an outfit for me. Okay. So, <laughs> my inventory is a bit strange right now. Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm going to have to get used to this. But he wants me to wear an outfit, so we're going to have to do that. Alright, a bamboo hat. It, oh, okay. Oh, so he's really keeping with the theme. This is exciting. I've never had this happen before. Alright, I'm excited about this. Yes, this is perfect. This is very good. <laughs> there we go. Handsome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, so... Yeah, let's check out his island. He's got like a little marketplace right here. This just looks so great, guys. Um, this is one of those islands where he has so much stuff. It's the frame rate so that the game have actually dropped a little bit. Nintendo needs to work on that for sure because people should be able to decorate their islands beautifully like this. This looks so cool. I love that he's used the custom patterns for the roadway. Oh my god. It's like so neat um, how he's crafted all of this. It really does feel like an actual city, which I, I really love it when people do cities in the game. And it's got that um, theme that, he, that I mentioned at the start. It's themed after the outskirts of Bangkok, which is really cool that he's sort of taken a real world theme and employed it into Animal Crossing. So I really enjoy that. Yeah, everything just feels so sort of um, well placed here. He must love the blue roses, definitely. <laughs> I like the blue roses a lot too. Cool hat as well, look up. Oh, nice. That's cool, that's a cool little scene, I enjoy that. All right, so who lives here? I'm actually gonna check the map real quick, just to see who lives here. So we have, oh, we have some really, really cool villages. I'm jealous that he has Marina. Yeah, he has some really, really cool villages. So that's definitely neat. And lots of terraforming done here as well. The one thing that I love to see when I go to someone's island is I love to see like lots of terraformed waterfalls and stuff. Don't get me wrong, I like simpler islands too. I love all different kinds of islands. But it's really neat to see um, what people can do with terraforming. You know, it often gives me a lot of inspiration. I'm sure you guys get inspiration from these island tours as well, which was actually part of the goal. So yeah, oh, it's so cool, guys. It's so cool. This is really neat how he's all, sort of like kept the dirt to have things feel a bit more like natural down there, but it's combined with the city. Um, I've never been to Bangkok, but um, I can definitely imagine he's taken like lots of inspiration by what he's seen in the real world, which is so neat. And yeah, this is really cool. Lovely use of custom patterns with the plants and stuff to make crops. So great. So this is more like a sort of rural area of the island, which just feels so neat. I'm very impressed by this. I just have to keep using my delight one. Look up. Oh my lord. <laughs> There's so much going on. It's so cool. I, it just how people use these items in the game is really great. Um, Twin Leaf Apartment Complex. That's so. That's a great idea. I'm going to say that's so cool a lot. But yeah. Um, people use the items in this game for things I could never have imagined on my own. Which is wonderful. I enjoy that a lot. Like look at that. Such a great scene. Every, everything's a great scene. Yum. Oh, is that like uh, takoyaki? A dish? An octopus dish? I think it is. Yeah. This is, is, is wild, guys. This is wild. I'm enjoying myself, even as Flick. <laughs> but what I really like about this island so far is he's using a lot of the um, pathways that you get in the game, which is cool. They look official and nice. But he's also put in custom patterns that work so well for the theme of his island. And that's definitely something I can admire a lot. Down here we have a village living on the beach. I really wanted to do something like this, but I could never really get to work. Marina, that's perfect for her. Because obviously she is a fishy. And the dock. I'm going to be making a video about the dock soon, guys. I've actually had this requested a few times for me to talk about what the dock could be used for in the future. So keep an eye out. 
<laughs> Did you know you can put furniture on the dock? Now you know, if you didn't, it's actually pretty cool. But it may be used for more in the future. We've got some crops here. Oh, it's so like, this is like the, uh, you know, the rural bit where all of the villagers live and have their uh, crops made and stuff like that. And he's used these to make like, they look like cauliflowers. It's the mum cushion, but it looks like cauliflowers. It's very smart, <laughs> very clever. This is such a great island to visit. This must have taken him a long time to make. We're really getting into the islands that are like crazy now because the game has been out for over two months. So we're getting to see those islands that are just fantastic. And I can't wait to see what people are gonna have done in a year's time. I'm sure it's just gonna be mental. Abduct me. <laughs> Unfortunately, that feature has not been added in yet. But um, maybe one day they'll, they'll let you be abducted in Animal Crossing. I mean, Gulliver from Animal Crossing City Folk and Wild World, he was an alien, which I still think is really weird. I don't know why they did that. I did make an Animal Crossing lore video about Gulliver. If you guys want to check that out, you can see the playlist on my channel of all those videos. That was a long time ago, though, now. Things have changed. Oh, it's all so good, and he's got all the villagers living here. The most important one, I know what he's going to say here. I already know who this is. Your son is sleeping. My poor son. He's having a sleep. Every time I go visit someone's island and Bob lives there, Bob's always asleep. And he's always asleep on my island as well, because recently I've been so busy during the daytime I've had to play at night. So I, I rarely get to see Bob. He sleeps at like 11pm, I think. That's what the uh, lazies do. And I'm from the UK, so. Oh, this is beautiful. This is This is beautiful. I love it. I love this. Oh, it's so great. And this is your house. This is your house. Oh, man. This, look at the views. I want to see if I can get, like, a nice, like, shot. Maybe. Maybe. No, I think I'll get a shot somewhere else because I've seen so many good different areas that um, I'm going to have to think really carefully where I want the thumbnail shot to be. <laughs> you guys can't see it, but, like, the, the sort of cogs are working in my brain as I do these, so I'm thinking to myself, hmm, where could the thumbnail picture be? Because there's so many gorgeous areas. I love when you can, like, overlook a cliff and see a bunch of cool stuff. That's one thing that I wish I had more of on my island. There are some areas like that, but they could stand to be more. Just look at that view. It's a beautiful view. I think this island honestly works even better at night time because it just feels um, magical in a way. Especially the natural portions of the island. They feel very good at night. I'm sure they feel great every time, but you guys get what I mean, I hope. Uh, it just, everything feels really nice at night time here. And there's literally so much to see. I often get comments where people say stuff like, um, you know, these islands feel so much bigger than mine. And it honestly, it just comes down to how you terraform, how you use your space in the game. There's, there's a lot that you can do. There really is. And these islands just showcase how impressive people can be with these. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so cool. They're being... Look down. I can see it. It's wonderful. That's a really neat idea. We've seen a few people do these sort of perspective things now, and I always think they're just so great. Definitely really impressive. Oh, I love how long this bridge is, by the way. This bridge is a long bridge. <laughs> He's got so many statues. I wish I had um, some statues. If you guys want to send me some statues, <laughs> please do. Because I have, like, none of them, but I really want them somewhere on my island. I'm not sure who lives here, but you've given them a really fancy little area. I just... I'm, I just want to explain how, how happy I am about the fact that you have cliffs in this game. Animal Crossing New Leaf had a cliff going down to the beach, but you could do nothing with it. Um, so it's mostly just a flat town. And the same with Wild World. But on the console versions, they've always had cliffs. Occasionally, even multiple cliffs. And that's one of the things I love about Animal Crossing, because when you've got these layered towns, it really feels like you're on something that is so much bigger than what they gave you in Wild World New Leaf. I mean, the New Leaf towns feel, like, minuscule compared to this. And I know they are technically smaller, um, but just even in what you can do in them, they definitely feel a lot smaller. See, so yeah, I love the fact that the cliffs are back in Animal Crossing. I wish you could go higher, though. I wish you could go to a fourth level rather than just a third. I'm sure it'd be great if you could go up just a little bit higher and do some even cooler stuff. But as you can see, this guy has really done a lot with terraforming on his island. And it's just nice to take it all in. 
I feel like I've been exploring this island for so long now because there's just so much to see and, and, and so much good use of space. You know, he's got the elements of his island that feel very um, rural. Uh, not rural, what's the one I'm looking for? Suburban, that's it. And then you've got the other bits that feel very rural and natural and yeah, I enjoy that a lot. I think that's um, such a great little touch. It's like a little graveyard. But he's also got his rocks here. That's cool. My ex village is. <laughs> uh oh. RIP, yeah. Apparently they die when um, they're not on his island, so that's quite sad. Oh, I'm just. I'm impressed by everything. I can't lie. I'm really impressed by everything that I've seen here. Just all feels really wonderful. Yeah, it's good, it's good, it's pretty good. And he's got the campsite down here. Uh oh, who died there? I don't know. <laughs> what a shame for that person. Yeah. I'm really impressed when people do stuff with their beach, by the way, because for me, I've really struggled to do anything with my beach. I have a few things here and there, but just in general, I've not really been able to do much, and that's something I want to work on. I want to add more to my beach. Hey, you got a bottle. You gotta gotta open that up at some point. Though I'm guessing this guy has a lot of um, recipes already. <laughs> Just judging by how much he has on his island. He's got that moon chair that I love. I want to get that moon chair. I might actually have the recipe for it. Celeste was on my island today. That might have been what I got. But I don't really remember, I'll be honest. So if his outside of his town looks like this, I'm really excited to think what his house is going to look like. I'm sure it's going to look wonderful. Also, is it just me, or does it feel like this guy has way more than 8 bridges and 8 slopes? It feels like he has like 20,000 like slopes, or inclines, you know, but he doesn't. He does have 8. So it's um, <laughs> really cool how he's managed to do that, make it feel like that. Okay, so I believe we'll be going to his house very soon. That'll probably be the next thing that we do. This is like a proper exploring island. You really explore this island. You don't just go from point A to point B, you, you explore. And I enjoy that. Right. Okay. Let's go inside. The exterior of his house actually looks quite like mine. So when I saw it, I was kind of like, hey, am I back home on Kokomo? No. Okay. Exciting, exciting. Yeah, I thought the inside of his house would kind of look uh, like this and have this sort of theme, which is cool. Definitely looks really nice. I love that wallpaper so much, by the way. It's one of the best ones in the game, in my opinion. I do actually have that one now, which I'm stoked about. I got it from a friend, which is very generous of them. Thank you to that friend. You know who you are. <laughs> this is neat. This is really neat. It's like a kitchen, but it feels like a very... Um, I can't describe it in words. I think you guys get what I mean when you see it. It's not like a fancy kitchen like you typically see in Animal Crossing. This is a bit more rustic. Good word. Good word, rustic. Always kind of reminds me of um, Gordon Ramsay for some reason. I'm not going to lie. But yeah. I'm definitely enjoying this tour a whole lot. We're almost at the end here, we just have to check out a few more rooms in this house, and then we will end the video. This one's actually been really long because of how big this island felt and how much there was to show, so I'm definitely excited. Oh my god, look at the ambience in here. How do you get, how do you get the clouds? How do you get the clouds? Is this a flooring that I don't know about? That's so cool, I want it. I want it. That feels like um, that track from Mario Kart. The um, Banshee Boardwalk, is that it? You know, the ghost one with all the boards and <laughs> the mist. That's really cool. I need to get that. I need to see if I can get that. Yeah, this 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 guy's home really does feel like a home. And it, and it matches with the theme of the island really well. His plant room, this is a great one. I enjoy this. He's definitely going to say something about this one. Um, probably a room that he's quite proud of. This fan blows the plant. That is so cool. Um, do you guys remember when we used to do Animal Crossing New Horizons small details videos? I don't know how long you've been on the channel before, but before the game came out, we'd point out all the small details we saw in trailers and stuff, and that's definitely something that we would have gone crazy for back in the day. Now it's just normal because the game's out and everyone knows and loves it, but back in the day, we would have been blown away, literally, by that fan mechanic. <laughs> there are so many good little details in this game, I almost am tempted to do a video of them, but yeah. Like a little office. Look at all the art. Look at all the art that he has. This, this guy is like an art dealer. Mob boss room. Yeah, I can feel that. How is... This guy is just so original with all of his ideas. Honestly, 
I know I get a lot of comments where people are like, I'm so jealous and like, <laughs> my island looks terrible now. You're not alone in thinking that. When I come here, I, I'm super jealous of like this guy's creativity. The amount of like sheer creativity that he has when it comes to designing his house and his island. Kudos to him. He's done a really, really good job. Thoroughly impressed by this one. The ambience down here, guys. I love this. I love the flooring. I love the, uh, the wallpaper. It's great. It's beautiful. So yeah, we're basically going to conclude the tour here. I really, really did enjoy this one. I thought it was just so nice, and he's done such a great job of his island. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and you can also subscribe for even more Animal Crossing New Horizons content. So I will catch you all in the next Animal Crossing video.